Hey everybody, it's Trina Shy Guy. Welcome back to Earthbound. Last time we made it to Saturn Valley, and we realized that there are people being, or rather, Mr. Saturn's being kept beyond the falls in some sort of base. And I'm just going to be right up front with you guys. I've actually already recorded this episode once, and we got into this base and pretty much immediately were killed. Say the password. Now we wait. And while we do, I'm going to explain a couple things. First things first, I actually bought some equipment, and I'm going to show that off after this, or I might even just show it now on screen while we wait. But uh, I bought a bunch of equipment, it's in the video description, and it's pretty much all the best stuff that we could get from Saturn Valley, minus the slingshot, because I don't like using the slingshots. Uh, aside from that, uh, we gained a couple levels as I traveled back and forth between Saturn Valley and here, um, and those are on screen as well right now. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of hoping this goes better than last time. Uh, last time the big issue was that I ran out of PP just really fast. And uh, there are a couple clips that I'm going to show you um, right now actually that are actually pretty cool and it was my realizations of a couple things uh, of the mother fandom that I just didn't know much about. Do you have to do that every time? This is Belch Base. Oh no! You confront the Foppy- <gasps> Foppies are orange! I think is what it was called. Stephen Amell did a radio show. Or uh, well, Stephen and a bunch of other people did a radio show where they, uh, Fobbies are Borange, I think is what it's called. And it's basically a retelling of Earthbound, but it's like a, in a radio style on Skype. Um, it's honestly really cool, and I might actually start listening to it now that I, we killed it. Um, <laughs> okay, you may enter. Yeah, so basically you have to trigger that you know, say the password, and then you have to wait three whole minutes. Now this is Belch Base, and there's a place just like this in Mother 1, and holy crap, it was hard. <laughs> um, now, if I remember correctly, do you bring some fly, some fly honey? It's Master Belch's favorite. Uh, we actually don't have that on us. Uh, but let's say yes anyway. Screw it. You didn't bring it? You seem kind of suspicious to me. You cannot pass through here. I'm also a little curious what would have happened if I did have it. But uh, let's let's mess this guy up a bit. Let's just let's just go all out with physical attacks for now. All right, here's the problem. Um, okay, Ness can bash the new one, and then Paula and Jeff will work on that one. And I love that sound. It honestly just makes me laugh every time I hear it. Because like, I never noticed it the first time when I was playing through it before. But I noticed it when these things were, spoiler alert, killing me. And like absolutely destroying me and, you know, calling for backup and I just couldn't do anything. Which honestly kind of reminds me of... I forgot to start my timer again. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that time in the Extra Life stream uh, that Mallory had a problem with it in uh, Stephen Amell's Extra Life for it. And this is a Foppy, and if you're a fan of uh, Foppies or Borange, that's where that this is where that's from. At least I think so, anyway. Um, I also didn't start my timer properly after waiting at the uh, waterfall, so. I'm just going to record for a little bit longer than usual and hope it works. Hello, zombies. See, I, 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 know, I know these because I've already encountered them. And they're honestly not that bad, so I'm just going to use physical attacks on them. Ow! Alright, um, I was a little quiet there, but I was kind of focusing, making sure I wasn't going to have to heal. Um... I'm actually going to eat the croissant Ness has. Uh, another thing I've done in between episodes is uh, just kind of reorganize some items. 
I, uh, I think I threw away a protractor. Hello, Foppies. In that battle, Ness came to level up. He's now level 27. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Max HP went up by 15. Max, H Max, Max PP went up by 5. Ness realized the power of Hypnosis Gamma. Paul's level is now 24. Oh baby, offense went up by 3. Defense went up by 1. Oh baby, speed went up by 4. Oh baby, IQ went up by 4. Max HP went up by 1. That rocks! Max PP went up by 17! Pa Paula realized the power of PSI Magnet Gamma. Those were way better level ups than I got before. Holy crap! When I'm honestly a little surprised Jeff didn't get a level up there. Uh, Alright. Now this is actually about as far as I got, if I remember correctly. Uh, I really did not get that far. I'm gonna give this skip sandwich to Jeff. Never mind, no I'm not. Um, hmm. Does Jeff have anything that he doesn't necessarily need? Can I use that here? No. Alright, well I'm just gonna use a life up alpha then on, on Jeff. And uh, down there, there's a lot of foppies. Uh, luckily, these all seem to always be in the same row. So what we can use is PK Fire on them. I'm so glad that didn't count as a back attack. Holy crap. Jeff's level is now 24. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Guts went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. Oh baby, IQ went up by 3. Luck went up by 2. Max HP went up by 10. That battle is another instance of me forgetting to pause my timer. Hello, more zombies. Didn't forget that time, although Jeff did catch a cold in the middle of that battle. So we're going to use healing on him to cure that. And then, let's see, a Q capsule. And broken laser. Alright, let's see, who has the best IQ? Who needs it? Jeff actually has the best IQ. I'm not sure what that actually does. I'll look it up in between episodes and I'll give that IQ pill to someone who actually needs it. Oh no! I made the same mistake as last time! Okay, so for clarification what I meant by that, uh, in the failed, well not even failed recording, just in the scrapped recording, uh, I did that exact same thing. I walked back into the door so that I could re... like, get a new amount of fobbies there. But, uh... Then the zombies back attack you if you go back out. Alright, let's 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 deal with this guy. Oh no, they don't attack us. Ah, so honest. Smile, bling. Tired, but so good, ding. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Uh, we need... Uh, I have a beta on Ness. Uh, 95. Can probably do a life up alpha on Jeff. Alright. There's a foppy. Just two this time. That battle was actually really easy. Paula began to level up, actually. Uh, max HP went up by two, max PP went up by two. She realized the power of Thunder Beta. Um, but what I was about to say is Paula and Jeff were able to actually just tag team one of them. And uh, it actually worked out super well because then Ness just killed the other one. Alright, I'm actually going to go in this room. Oh my god, it's a butterfly. I wonder, how my, I wonder if this butterfly respawns. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, 225, 97, and close enough. I wonder if this is like a. We can use this to like actually um, reliably get our psychic points back. Okay, no, it looks like it's a one time thing or at least pretty rare. That's there again. Well, that's useful. If we need to level up, I'll come back here. Or even just heal, really. I'm actually going to go right back in there because of the fact that. Um, 
I wasted some psychic points on just that enemy there because he made us all miss lots. So, that kind of sucked. How are we looking on psychic points? I do want to try and refresh those though. So I'm actually going to use this butterfly a couple times more. I'm actually not sure if they run out. Uh, I would like to know. But I guess I'm pretty likely to actually just find out on my own. Uh, this is actually the battle I died in. Now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm naturally going to go all out and see what's in this room. Uh, one thing I said in this battle when I did it originally was that I really liked the uh, the battle background. There also was a small sludge monster in that battle, and there wasn't this time. Nest level is now 28. Oh baby, offense went up by 6. Holy crap. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 2. Max HP went up by 15. Max PP went up by 5. That was a really good level up. So you're the ones who destroyed the zombies I assigned to three. Uh, I guess he added his own little dialogue. Neat. Oh no, not again. Not this time. <laughs> that is what killed me last time because I couldn't hit him and I was out of PP. Hello, flies. Okay, so it looks like foppies don't actually team up with the slimy little piles. And that's kind of neat, considering you can use that to your advantage. Okay, Paula, freeze him! That was awesome. Don't even need to cut that battle out. I'm actually going to go in here. We're going to heal up. Basically just get everyone maxed out. Um, I think Jeff might actually already be maxed out. No, he's not. I was thinking of Paula's, who was in the 90s. Um, I like how Jeff only gained one Nell in that level up. That was awesome. Alright, and I have breath in the middle of me saying that. I'm not used to that. Okay, let's go back in here. Okay, is it done now? It might be done now. Um, no, Butterfly is still here. How much PP? Uh, 80 out of 80, 90 out of 102. I don't know why I keep checking for Jeff. He doesn't have any psychic points. Um, I'm gonna leave that Butterfly alone, as you can probably tell by the fact that I left it alone. There we go. Just can take care of these guys really easy now. I was honestly a little worried I spoke too soon there, but I was fine, thankfully. Oh, those are sludge. Aren't you the fly honey delivery boy? What's the password? Doesn't mean I don't trust you, just say it. Say it now. Someone so quiet is either extremely shy or extremely dangerous. What a suspicious fellow. I think we might actually... Maybe we should have brought the honey. Whoops. I'm starting to think that we wouldn't have had to fight a lot of these battles if we had the honey. I'm not going to fight those guys over there. They're fine. They can stay away. Oh, there he is. This is the thing that caused Mal in the Extra Life stream to just get absolutely demolished. Here we go. Burp. Sorry, you, you were Ness. I see your. <laughs> There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygus. <laughs> you make me laugh so hard. If Master Gygus is scared of someone, he would have to be worse than the greatest evil. <laughs> I'll take you down big time. So get ready for the worst fight of your life. <laughs> get to get ready to feel the pain of true nausea. Yeah, <laughs> come on, let's go. Master Belch. He yeah, he actually has a spirit in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And uh, I'm curious 
if there's actually any way for us to subdue him like the other bosses. Uh, first things first, I'm actually going to put a shield on Paula while she uses Freeze Beta, and then Jeff can spy on him. 200, that's a lot of damage. I just made a reference without realizing it. Jeff felt some of the nauseous. Oh, wow. Offense is 50, defense is 88. Open to hypnosis. Okay. Alright. I'm going to have Ness hypno use hypnosis on him while we continually freeze him. And, uh, hopefully... You know, Jeff, use a bottle rocket. Oh, he solidified his body. Okay, we woke him up, but his body's still solidified. Uh, let's let's hypnotize him again. Actually, you know what? No, we should probably heal Jeff. Uh, let's use he let's use healing beta because I'm not sure what we should be using. Uh, let's have Jeff use another. Actually, let's have him use a bomb. There, Jeff feels better. That was actually really well timed. Um, let's use Monado Beta. And let's use Freeze Beta on him. And then let's use a Bottle Rocket on the slimy little pile. Ow! Ow! Okay, slimy little pile is dead. So, uh, okay, let's see, let's use hypnosis on him again, and we're gonna use uh, freeze beta, and then we're gonna use bottle rocket again. He's gotta die soon. All right, he's asleep now, which means that we can use healing beta on Paula. Um, and, uh, let's see. Do we have anything else we should be doing? Um, we could probably use Freeze Beta again. Um, Jeff, I don't think he actually has much, so I'm just gonna have him use the Defense Spray on himself. Oh, actually, I don't think... Maybe hitting him doesn't wake him up. Alright, um... I'm gonna have Ness stay on standby so we can use healing. And freeze beta again. And let's shoot him. Uh, keeping Ness on standby still. Uh, still gonna shoot him. One of these days. <laughs> okay, we woke him up, so. Question is do we wanna try. Uh, hypnosis on him. We can get a lower level hypnosis on him. I'll try it. And we're gonna need this to work. You need to go all out. Okay, he fell back asleep. We woke him right back up, but his body solidified and then he was able to move. Alright, um. Okay, attack. We should probably pray to get some PSI back. Which honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, is exactly... Exactly, actually. Um, what happened to Mal. Basically, it summoned a bunch of those slimy little piles. And then... Praying brought them all back. Okay, so we're going to use the PSI Caramel on Paula. And we're going to have Jeff shoot it. This will let us... Get a l ow, ow, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, um, um, I don't know if I have any healing things. Uh, Jeff! I think he's dead. I really hope he's not, but we have the cup of life noodles if we need it. Please don't kill him. Oh, well, all right, uh, let's use, let's, let's hit him, 
And then we're gonna use one more PK freeze on him and just hope it works. He has to die soon, right? <laughs> we're running out of options. Uh, bring back Jeff. Um, pray. Okay, Jeff is back. Let's let him regain his strength. Um, I don't think we can use any PSI anymore. So it's pretty much all down just to attacking. Um, and we really don't have much. So I'm going to have Ness target Master Belch. And then the other two target the slimy little piles that pop up. Ow. Ow. Oh no. We need to kill Master Belch right now. I'm gonna go all out on him. We don't have we don't really have another choice. Oh no. Well, here it is. This is the end. Um screw it. Throw a bomb. Uh, let's, just, let's just throw everything out. Uh, HP sucker. Uh, rust promoter. Okay. Not gonna, not working on us because we're already affected. But they're wasting their turns, so that's good. Oh no. Oh crap. Ness is dead. Alright, we need to pray. And we need to shoot Master Belch. I don't even think beating Master Belch actually does anything. Oh, we're we're so dead. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, pray and um, just keep shooting him. If nothing else, we might be able to kill him and get experience. They, we all feel strange. It's just a, it's just a part of life. Oh, there's so much text. Oh wow! And we made all of them cry. So this is just the worst. I don't. I have lost track of what's going on. I've lost control of my life. Um. Okay. Let's use a croissant on Paula. Let's just let's just keep attacking. This is their, our only option. The slimy little pile ate the ate the ate the thing. Jeff Jeff shot himself. That's great. Um, this this is my train wreck. Okay, well, I don't know what to do <laughs> except maybe defend. Uh, pray again and shoot Master Belch. Ness was revived! Oh my god. I don't want to alarm you. But there may be a small chance. Very, very small. We need to kill Master Belch. Um... I'm gonna use PSI Magnet on all en on all enemies, and then we're gonna use um, we're gonna shoot at Master Belch. None of them have any PP. Okay, there might be a chance we can pull this off. I pray. M okay. Made himself feel nauseous, so he's gonna be killing himself slowly. Ness needs to kill Master Belch. It, we don't have another option. Uh, Paula, keep praying. We're recovering our HP with prey. Okay, well, Jeff shot Ness. Okay, well, I am so lost right now. There's so many slimy little piles that we can't even see them. Okay. Paula's dead. 
Honestly, that might be for the greater good. <laughs> um, use a big bottle rocket on, Ma on Master Belch. Please don't hit us. I was really hoping that would not... I, th I was hoping that would hit Master Belch and not... Okay, he's he's killing Naz actively. Okay. This is this is actually really intense. Um, do we have any other items? I have the bad key machine. So, in other words, no. Nest just to fend. Um, or not Nest, Jeff. But, you know what I mean. Ness keeps missing is the problem. Jeff feels nauseous. I attacked with Jeff on accident. He might kill Ness. How the crap do we do enough damage to him? It has to be the fly honey, right? That has to be how we do it? Okay. We can do this. We just have to kill him. He edged closer. Come on, Ness! Damn it. Okay. We got one more turn. We have one turn in us and we need... Nope, that's it. Ness is dead. Paula's, be Paula's dead so she can't pray him back to life. <sighs> no, that's it. Alright, well, next time, we're going to bring the fly honey. <laughs>